everyone, welcome back to Mystery Pack Monday. I hope your week is off to a great start. Cannot believe we are mid-February now at this point. Uh, it's just crazy. We're into 2022 already and things are just rolling. But uh, we are back. Another Mystery Pack Monday. I hope your week is going to be off to a great start this week and uh, you've had a good Monday so far whenever you're watching this or even a Tuesday if you're watching this Tuesday. Um, as always here at Mystery Pack Monday, we do a shout out and today's shout out to start the week is going to Styx G. Great channel here on YouTube that you can check out if you haven't already. Head over there, subscribe to them. They've got some great content on the channel. Great member of the community has uh, been subscribed here for a while as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've been watching their videos for, for a long time as well there. So make sure to check them out. Let them know TSG Cards sent you. Their links will be in the description down below, eye in the sky and on screen for you to uh, check out. So without further ado, we're going to get into part two, I guess you could say, from the seller on eBay. We had a great run last week with this mystery pack. And we're going to jump into part two this week. So another mystery pack from them. Uh, we have auto uh, pat a hot auto patch and um, a young guns in the last one, so we're hoping for some of the same. The cost you'll see on screen is nine dollars and ninety nine cents shipped to my front door. Well, to my mailbox. I had to go pick it up from the mailbox, but you get the idea. We had about eight cards last time, I believe, was the breakdown. And uh, let's take a look and see what we got. So we are starting it off first with. A Keith Yandel Heroes and Prospects in the game San Antonio Rampage from 2007. Don't know if that's like a rookie of his or anything, but uh, there we go. We'll have to dig into that and see. Keith Yandel. Card number two. We've got ooh, 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 ooh. Danny Heatley, the friggin' all star himself. Danny Heatley with the San Jose Sharks. That just looks like a. Pinnacle base, maybe? Panini base card right there of Danny Heatley when he played for San Jose. I didn't like those Sharks jerseys at all. Not a fan of the little number in the front. That was a thing for a little while. Not a huge fan of it, but uh, there we go. Got a hot prospects of Eric Stahl from 2006. Pretty sweet. Looks like sophomore year right after... Uh... No, it can't be. Oh, yeah, because 05, 06, 04, 05 was the lockout. I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, oh, 05, 06, yeah. 04, 05 was the lockout, 05, 06. Um, yeah, so he exploded there, I guess. I don't know why, uh, the, unless that number is that year is wrong. But uh, anyway, hot prospects, because it's not a true rookie card, but it's a hot prospects card, so there we go. Next up, we've got a rookie card of Alex Belzeal from uh, Allure this year. So it's just a base rookie of Alex Belzeal. Alex, Alex Belzeal. We've got a rookie portraits of Philip Broberg, the defender for the Edmonton Oilers. Pretty solid defenseman there. Got some good upside to him. Swedish defenseman, Philip Broberg, UD rookie portraits. And down to our three top loader cards, which I think are auto young guns and patch card. And we're starting off with a Mark Parrish patch card from Beehive Matted Materials. This is a, a jersey worn. So it's a, not game worn, but it's an, a, a worn jersey. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, it is a game-worn jersey. Worn by him in a, an official NHL game. So there we go, Mark Parrish, game-worn. Pretty sweet there. Uh, this is 12 on the... No, it can't be... Oh, yeah, it's probably on the sleeve. It's back at value, but, yeah, back at value is a little crazy. Anyway, Mark Parrish, that's our uh, jersey card. We've got the auto... Oh, I kind of might have spoiled it. We've got a Max IF rate autograph from Heroes and Prospects there. Like I afraid here is in prospects right there. So there you go. Uh, that's the autographed. Not don't know much too much about him. Rookie auto. So there you go. <laughs> Means something again. A couple bucks. Lower name autos, but fun to get. And a Sam Steele young guns. Pretty solid young guns to get. Decent player for the Anaheim Ducks. So some potential. No Troy Terry right now, but uh, but yeah, Sam Steele. So not too shabby with uh, with those cards there. Um, again, auto patch uh, young guns for ten bucks can't really go wrong at all there. 
uh, you're always guaranteed to get at least, you know, a lower end, lower ends of each of them are, <laughs> you can't complain, right? Especially if there's chase cards. I couldn't really tell you what these chase cards were. I bought this so long ago, but uh, yeah, that was a fun little break. You'll see on screen my estimated value of everything. Uh, so you can check out and see, uh, see what you, what you, if you agree, disagree, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and yeah, we got more mystery packs to come next week and uh, for a few more weeks after that. And we've got a really, really exciting grand finale. So stay tuned. We're going to build up to that in the coming weeks. Lots of other great videos out now uh, and recent videos as well. So really do appreciate all of your support as always. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.